Dear Lord, mm. please bless us with an excellent review yes, Lord. of Taika Waititi's latest film, Next Goal Wins. Amen. I feel like that's not too much to ask. Yes. Yes, Lord. We've been doing this for a while now. Mm. So, cut us some slack. Please, Lord. Amen. Amen, Lord. Dear Lord, well, thank you for sending us Mr. Ongan. We've become quite attached to him. It's like finding a little lost white kid at the mall and telling him which way to go. Hello, everybody. Welcome again to Keystone Film Review. We just saw Next Goal Wins, directed by Taika Waititi, written by Taika Waititi and Ian Morris, uh, starring Michael Fassbender, Oscar Knightley, uh, Kaimana, David Fane, Rachel House, uh, Biola Koala, Koale, uh, Taika Waititi's also in it, Will Arnett's in it, Elizabeth Moss, uh, the forgotten Hemsworth Luke, and uh, uh, Angus Sampson's in it for a minute as well. Yeah. This, of course, is about the American Samoa National Soccer Football Team, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we call soccer, don't hold it against us, because the word soccer does predate football by, I think, at least 19 years, uh, if you look at the history of it. But both are correct. Yeah, so this is about the American Samoa National uh, football team uh, that uh, was infamously bad and, uh, you know, their meteoric rise out of last place. Yes, right out of Not to the top, just out of last place, which, good for them. Yeah. Uh, better than I could say about me. I haven't accomplished anything in my life. I haven't kicked a ball in a year. I haven't. I did today, actually, but... Aww. When you're playing with a child. I'm a huge fan of Taika Waititi. I think he's a, a great director. Really, he's got a really dry sense of humor, which I love. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was really excited to see this. I don't really care too much about soccer or football or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I acknowledge that it is the world's most popular game. So there you go. It's there, yeah. And this was entertaining for the most part. It kind of goes back to his older films as far as comedic timing and, and dryness where it's like very 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 dry uh and and not you know as uproariously funny as what we do in the shadows uh or even hunt for the wilder people at some points um and of course thor ragnarok and if you want to talk about it thor love and thunder uh <laughs> most it, people don't most people don't it's still funny like i don't i don't know if it's a good marvel movie but mm, it's a no. funny movie but yeah, this was enjoyable. It was, it was a nice, warm film. Mm -hmm. It warmed me yeah. up on the inside. Really gave you a little cuddle by yeah. the fire. And really made me wish that I was as happy as... I don't know how American Samoans are in real life, but I wish I was as happy as the ones in this one. There's no way they're that happy, but it felt like they could be, and that was nice enough. Yeah. I feel like I heard that they are very happy people. I don't know how yeah. true that is, you know. I mean, I bet 100% they're, like, very humble and very awesome yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. But this is a whole new passion of the Christ type of humble. <laughs> I don't know. I just said it. It existed. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love Taika, too. He's great. Uh, a lot of his movies are great. And they're so fucking funny, like, obnoxiously. Mm -hmm. How dare you be so funny. Um, this one, I didn't really have this one in my sights at all. Like, I, in, in, we kind of saw it because it was, like, one of the only movies out right now. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't, like, uh, to me, from the trailer, it didn't look too much like it would be, like, as, uh, uh, lack of better words, as good as his past movies. Um, maybe... Love and maybe it may be better than Love and Thunder, but who knows? But I mean, th this movie was genuinely fun. Like most of his movies, dry sense of humor, super dry. D desert, they're they're amazing. They're the best jokes in the world. Mm -hmm. I felt like the movie could have used, um, in some spots, a little less jokes and more character building in parts. Um, sometimes sometimes he does that, but sometimes it's for the better. But a but a movie like this with a a, a, a team, a family mm -hmm. of Samoans, is it Samoan? I, I, I it's so Samoan. Uh, I feel wrong I for saying. Normally, anyway. try to pronounce it the way they do, but I'm worried that I'm going to mispronounce. I feel it like anymore. I'm going to fuck it up, and I already mispronounced. Samoan. Samoan. They kept saying Sa Samoa. Samoa. White people say Samoa. Yes, but that's not necessarily true. And I feel or correct. Um, just, just hit me with a soccer. Yes. Ball or football. Samoa. 
So it felt it felt like character development in this would have been more necessary. Not that yeah. it wasn't there. There was a at little all. bit. Not but that not it wasn't there at all. Like, could have used there, a little more, yeah. But it would have been it would have been nice to maybe roll back some of the you know, white white people jokes. There's a white dude hey, there's a white dude coming and teaching us things. He did a lot of those. Not not that you can't do those, but it was it was just a lot. I thought they were funny, but yeah, no, they're they're funny. It, it did he, feel like he, a crutch at some point. He did like five or six at the, during the whole run, and yeah. if he just would have traded out one of those jokes for maybe just a little bit of character building in certain parts, mm -hmm. would have been awesome. But the family, uh, the family dynamic, the the team dynamic, uh, was really great. You you love every one of those goofballs, just for being so passionate mm -hmm. about. Uh, the culture and just themselves. And God, I, I want to be Samoan so bad for a minute. Just, just That's the white people way, is to see another culture and be like, I want that. I mean, <laughs> me now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this, my favorite part about this is that it feels very nostalgic of like 90s sports movies. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that was on purpose or if it's just the format of a sports movie, you know, an underdog sports movie uh, that really kind of brings out memories of, of like, uh, big the big green little giants sandlot stuff like that where it's just you know this ragtag group of, of people trying to go for this seemingly unreachable goal and I, I love that I love sports movies for that I think sports movies are a very underutilized uh, genre you know especially now we don't get too many of them and when we do they're usually like ultra patriotic in in one way or another uh, not that there's anything wrong with that but it directed it, by Clint Eastwood Yes, um, and, and, but I, I I enjoyed the fact that it didn't take itself too seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, I do agree that it could have used some uh, character arcs and 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 development and everything, and it has that a little bit, the biggest, a lot towards the end. The and, biggest one you get is from uh, my favorite character from the movie, uh, Jaya. Yeah, um, she was great. Mm -hmm. Very very pretty, pretty human being. Yes, gorgeous, and just genuinely. Uh, a great story to build off of. Yeah. And it, it would have been nice to have a couple more of those characters to have a little bit, maybe not as much, mm -hmm. but considering she was kind of like a big uh, building block. Yeah, everyone else thing. was kind of like a joke in some yeah, way. Yeah, there was, there was just a joke in there for them. But yeah. they weren't really like, oh, here's this guy. And they bring him in, and then you don't really, he's not really built off of much after that. Yeah. Like, uh, there was one character named Smiley. He had a whole, like, f like 10 seconds. And they teased, second they thing. teased you with character development, only to interrupt and it. And then just to interrupt which it. Which was kind it of was, funny, but I, I felt like they did him dirty a little It was funny, but, like, if they would have kept going on with the joke that he's Smiley and he's always smiling, mm -hmm. like, you, every time you see him in frame, he's always like, yeah. Would have been good to do. Would have been cool to do. Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, it's fine. I don't even remember what I was going to say. I don't know either. What you what you said was better was that, that better than what I was going to say. Mm. Yeah, it's it's ultimately just a, a fun movie. Doesn't take itself too seriously. Uh, Michael Fassbender is is pretty good in it. it. It has some awkward moments, but I mean that's kind of par for the course with Taika Waititi. I felt like it was more awkward than any of his movies, probably since Eagle vs. Shark. Mm. Um, I can't remember if that's his first or second one, but Eagle versus Shark, the all the humor is awkward humor. I feel I liked it, but I feel like it was missing the heart that all of his movies have. And the heart there was heart there, but not as much as he normally has. It kind of felt like he was just like, you know, let's focus on how bad this soccer team is and yeah. not really show all of them as like people with depth and everything they, they a little bit of them uh, they did but it was kind of poked fun at sports movies where there's always that moment where the guy they stops in the middle of the field like and has slow motion a, has all the time to do anything in the world and then in this movie someone takes the ball from him <laughs> hey stop it <laughs> thief <Yeah. laughs> and it's just it's just a charming movie uh, mm. i don't know if it's it's going to go down as i mean it's probably not going to go down as one of the greats um, especially, you know, for Taika Waititi's uh, oeuvre, but uh, is that the right word? His 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 work, his work. His Why did catalog. I have to go <laughs> pretentious with it? Catalog. Um, it's it's a fun watch. I don't think anyone's gonna be upset that they watched it, but I don't know if it's really gonna go far as like a classic movie goes. Um, and it could have, in in a, in a way, uh, but it 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 did, it did kind of feel like Taika Waititi like shaking off. The rust after being in the Marvel and uh, one thing complex too with that is that I'm glad he wasn't in it 
as my, his whole personality's in it because that's just how yeah. all of his movies are. It's like, hey, he's got talking like this, and we're gonna do a delivery on a well, joke. He plays a priest in this, and he played a priest in Hunt for the Wilder People. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be connected, but I thought that was interesting. I, yeah. I remember his character in Hunt for the Wilder People looking similar. I was but. I was scared when he popped up in the first. He was literally in the first. Scene. He was the narrator. He was the narrator, for a narrator bit. slash you know priest. I was scared he was going to be in it like a lot. Yeah. But I'm glad he kind of just backed up after that. Part. Yeah, he he showed restraint, uh, um, which was good. Uh, one thing this movie did that I'm I really liked is that the uh, the Samoans every time they like. St- do like a pregame thing. They do the the haka. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. I haka. always get hyped when I see a haka. Oh, yeah. And they in this movie they showed like the evolution of just how goofy and uh, idiotic this these guys are, even when they're doing the haka. Yeah. Um, which is a, a pretty big thing. Um, it uses it as a way to show how united they yeah. are as a team. Because the first time you see them doing it, they're all doing like different they, things. They don't know and, how to do it. <laughs> and they don't know what they're doing. Which may not be accurate, I you know, it's, it being a cultural thing, I feel like everyone knows how to do it. They do it at weddings and, and everything. They, yeah. uh, well, I don't know about American Samoa, but I've seen weddings where uh, Samoans or, or Polynesians do the haka. It's the all-black rugby team, goes way, they go so fucking hard, and it always gets me hype every yeah. time I see it. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was cool to see that evolution of them just kind of not all being on the same uh, length, mm-hmm. or wavelength, and then just getting to that, that evolution of getting... As a team being linked together, yeah, that was that was really cool, especially with the haka, because mm-hmm. everybody everybody just gets hyped from that. You're yeah. like, ah, uh, yeah, kick that ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't have anything else to say, really. Um, Let me see me here. Yeah. So, so ratings. Uh, you know, it's 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 a good movie. It's a fun movie. Uh, I feel like Taika Waititi could have done better, or or you know, give maybe a different story could do better. I don't know. Mm-hmm. This might be the best he could have done with this. Um, but it's it's was lacking the heart that I come to expect in a Taika Waititi movie for the most part. Um, he's he's goofy, but he always has like humanity in it, and this has humanity, just not as much as it could have. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it used, you know, the the technique of like storytelling, which I really like towards the end. It feels like there's um, parts missing. Yeah, it. it does. It it feels un- incomplete. Yeah. Um, but it's it's still a fun movie. Like I said, I don't think anyone's gonna be upset that they watched it. Mm-hmm. There was a family of uh, a dad and a bunch of kids behind us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There it was we go. Pretty cool. Um, Good job, family man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this a three point five, Ooh. three and a half out of five. So. Uh, I myself am gonna give it a three. Yeah. Enjoyable, fun, just a good time. Yeah. But nothing, nothing to you know. Go play some soccer yeah. immediately about just the, wait till it gets a little bit warmer the nostalgia bumped it up for me like feeling like a 90s movie yeah the entire time i was just like oh this feels like cool runnings oh this feels like green little green no, I, for big a second green. little there, big, big green was, i big thought green. they were gonna do some shaolin soccer stuff i was like oh yeah <laughs> they almost did yeah uh but yeah that's what we thought of next goal wins if you saw it let us know what you thought down below in the comments uh what's your favorite sport yeah. Mine is uh, ice hockey and baseball are tied. Uh, but I liked them both. What about you? I know you're not really a I'm big sports. I'm not a sports. big sports guy. I yeah. played rugby, so I feel like that has to be my default. But I don't think I've watched more than five matches ever since I played yeah. rugby. It always gets me hyped to watch it. Though. I've been watching John Boy talk about cricket, and I really want to get into cricket. I think the one I get most into is probably football. Yeah. Go, go birds. Go birds. Go eagles. Uh, yeah, let us know down in the comments what your favorite sport is and what you thought of this movie, and we will see you in the next video. Yeah. Go birds. The fights. Ah!